Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Margaritaville Volcano Shrimp, $6.50 for this box. What do we got going on here? Well, first off, if you look closely, it, it there's a little accent over the N in volcano. So I guess it's more like Volcano Shrimp. $6.50 is not a cheap meal, guys, and especially for an appetizer. But I gotta tell you, Margaritaville has a very special place in my heart. If you look back at some old reviews, you will understand, and some of you diehards know this already. Margaritaville put out the very first five-star rating that I ever gave on Freezer Burns, and this was a long, this was over three years ago. And so I always have this like image in my head that Margaritaville makes great, great products and that was the uh it was the calypso coconut shrimp which i gave a five star rating this is the volcano shrimp cheese and jalapeno stuffed crispy shrimp erupts with three cheeses and mild jalapenos this is a shrimp stuffed with spicy cheese basically eruption okay get it Vol volcano eruption I've already started the oven there behind me, and once that finishes preheating to 450, I'm gonna put these puppies in, and when I come back, I will tell you how it looks, how it smells, and I'm gonna get this eruption in my mouth. Wait, that didn't sound right. I'm gonna get these shrimps down deep into my belly. Okay, I've taken this out of the oven. I cooked it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Here's how it looks. As you can see, these don't look natural, guys. I mean, they're supposed to be shrimp stuffed with volcanic cheese. Um, and they kind of look like, I don't know, I, I don't know, they look kind of look like the state of Kentucky. Uh, but they, I don't know. It, it basically looks like a stick with a piece of meat around it. I'm not complaining about something like that. Uh, but it's, it's not, it doesn't look natural. Okay, it's deep fried. Now, a little bit of confusion on my end when I looked at the directions on the box because it said put them on the tray and cook it for blah, 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 but it said cook with cheese side up. And I looked at this and I'm still looking at it. I have no idea which side is cheese side. It's all encased in batter. Uh, so that's something that I'm hoping the Margaritaville uh, people will kind of take a look at. You know, if, if it is in, in fact important that I'd look at the cheese side on the top before I put it in the oven, you gotta be a little more obvious of what the cheese side is. Okay, that being said, let's get right down to brass tacks. This smells awesome, and I really wanna house all of these. I, you know, I was, I was just thinking uh, before I started this segment, I, I'm an old guy, guys. I, I don't know, do people still say that term, house something? Uh, for those of you, you know, back in the day when I, you know, when I was a kid, we would say, I'm going to house that. And that means I'm basically going to inhale these as, as, you know, quickly as possible. Mass quantity in my mouth. Let's see how this tastes. Well, I quickly found where the cheese side was. And it wasn't on the top or the bottom. Whoa! Spice! Man, what is it, man? I know how to pick them. Last few times, last few reviews I've been doing. Crazy, crazy spice. That is good spice. Mmm. Anyway, cheese side. I quickly figured out what the cheese side is um, because when I bit it, it kind of shot cheese all around. This is kind of like a picture the quality of a cheese of a really good queso dip, okay? Now add jalapenos with a nice hint of shrimp. That's basically what this tastes like. Now, do you think this end here is edible? Do you think it's the tail? Or do you think it's the makings of what was the tail just deep fried? We're not gonna know until we get all the way to the bottom. Okay, yep, starting to pick up some shell. Yep, okay. You don't eat the end. That's a shell. 
all in all, good bite. Nice mixture of taste. That Volcano is a nice touch. Got a nice zing to it. A good, good spice. But for $6.50 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. Did I just count that right? Yeah, nine of these. I'm not sure if it's a good value. This is the Margaritaville Volcano or Volcano, Volcano shrimp. $6.50 for this box. Great, great shrimp taste, great rich cheese, and the jalapenos, nice spice. Not like crazy, I need a bucket of ice dumped on my head type spicy, but spicy where it's got a little kick, and let's just say I'm a little moist, let's say. I like that, great. However, at $6.50 for this appetizer, with only nine of these shrimp, I question the overall value. That plus all the confusion. Not just the confusion in the name, but confusion in where's the cheese side, up or down, on the side. I have no idea. Given all of that, I give this a four out of five star rating. Question of the day. What is your favorite word to mispronounce? If you're like me and you have kids, uh, you know, my four-year-old, for the longest time he mispronounced pronounced magazine by saying mazagine. It was so damn cute, I just, I said it all the time. Mazagine, mazagine, mazagine. Are there any words like that for you that you mispronounce? You know how to correctly say it, but you just mispronounce it on purpose? Leave it in the comment section. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.